Oh, you're not supposed to see me. You're supposed to see the store. Let me turn you around. And as soon as I see some people in here, I'll tell you what I'm doing here because this is going to be exciting and it's all about the next video that's coming. Here's their garden stuff. So let's see, what am I getting today? Today, I am getting this. I'm going to get just um, four of them because you know I have so many from before, but I'm going to put a couple of those together for the deck. And then I'm going to get a hanger because I'm making hummingbird feeders and different things and fountains that I hang. All right. So let's go through here. I'm not going to stay on long because I have to respect everybody's privacy. And that's very important. So I'm hoping a moderator will come in. I need a couple of you in there. So this is what they have. It's not a whole lot, but still, it's a really good price on everything. I'm buying myself a pair of gloves today. Jackie Randall, hello, Debbie Keller. Hello, I've got to stay quiet because I don't want to get in anybody's <laughs> way. So I'm here because I have a super big video going up at three o'clock and I am so excited. This is no joke. And I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. I just wanted you to get a peek while some of you come in to see what, why I'm here. I did come here already and get garden supplies. Remember, if you're doing hummingbirds, these hooks are fantastic for $1.25. I, you can actually, if you have a deck, let me tell you something. You can drill two holes and stick them in on a deck, and that's what we do, and it holds hummingbird feeders beautifully. Let me get out of anybody's way that's coming around. And then seeds, they, they don't have as many seeds as they usually have, but they've got the hummingbird feeders. You know how we go ahead and we can take a little piece of pipe cleaner and we can make, oh good, my wrench is there, red, red base, hello. Um, we go ahead and we can make purchase on that, and it, it's the perfect feeder, I, I love them. I like Walmarts better, but those are only a dollar. Sure, sorry. <laughs> Let me go down this aisle because nobody's here because this is the aisle I came for. This is the aisle I came for. The candy aisle. Okay, yes. Sometimes I do eat candy. Let me show you something. I'm telling you this is no joke. Three o'clock. I'm, I'm already getting more. I came here. Now, if you remember some of you, I made the... Oh, I got more. I made um, the hummingbird bird fountain with the heart, which is absolutely adorable. And then a lot of you went to go grab them and they sold out right away. This is better. Well, it's cute. Look at this. You've got a ball, an instant ball that hummingbirds love. The whole video is only 10 minutes. It took me, I'm gonna say less than five minutes to put one together and I've already put two together and they love it. As soon as I put it out, they used it. They don't have that many blues. They come in three colors here. And check your Dollar Tree out because I'm pretty sure all of them will have it. You got a whole month because Easter is in a month. So this way I figured I'd get this up really quick so you could be prepared to get it. Now, once they sell out, will they get more? I don't know. But these are adorable. And I'm not going to tell you how to make it now because the video comes out at 3 o'clock today. But... That is what I came for because I'm going to get a few more and I'm, I'm going to try something I've never tried before probably. That's why I wanted to get a few more. But this is why I'm at Dollar Tree and this is what I wanted you to know. If you're making solar fountains, this is perfect. And all you'll have to get is a kit and one of these and these you can cut. You don't even have to use a soldering iron. They can stand on it. They've been taking baths constantly. Of course, today they're calling for rain. And so they're not taking baths today unless I put a battery operated one out, which I didn't. You know, I, I didn't see these the other day. Okay, these are wall, um, bobble heads, so I won't real. I could get creative, but I'm not going to. So that's what I came on for. Like I said, I'm not going to stay on long. I've got some other things I'm getting today. I saw a dog bowl I'm going to use for the birds, and I didn't pick it up the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and probably. I am here, okay? Um, I'm gonna go get a dog bowl. And when you go to Dollar Tree, if you're gardening, I can't read anything right now in here. It's just rolling. I'll see if before I go, I'll try to say something. Think out of the box because there's so much stuff here you can use for gardening. Scissors. <laughs> Heather, hello. Scissors and um, things for, you use scissors to cut in the garden. I don't wanna get in anybody's way because I can't bother anybody's privacy it's lucky they haven't thrown me out but 
I buy lots of stuff here, not just garden supplies that they've got, but things that I use for the garden, you know, the dish pans. If you don't get them from Walmart and you don't want to buy them for $2.84, you can get them here for $1.25. They're smaller and you could put two together, but then that deceives the point of just buying one from Walmart for $2.84. But if you're going to grow simple things like a couple lettuce, parsley, smaller things you could probably if you really compost the dickens out of it you could probably even get a zucchini out of it it's amazing what you can grow i grew zucchini in a one gallon bucket because it was all compost with a little soil on top so anyways you don't want to see me let's see the store oh no no i don't want to end hold it i almost ended let me turn you around hit the wrong button let's see where we can go is there anything in particular you want to see red ray birds great red did i say that wrong J J. John, oh sorry, John Ray's birds. You probably get stuff from your Dollar Tree. So that's the big thing I wanted to talk about today was this, because I'm gonna tell you when it hits, I know that a lot of people are gonna run and get them. These are so cute. What it is, it's a candy container. Some of them have like, it's like a generic M&Ms. They have jelly beans, sour candy. Oh, they do have sour candy. Hold on. Gary asked me. I didn't see that earlier. Gary said, all right, get a sour candy. I'll swap. So I'll get one sour candy. I'm keeping the tubes because I'm going to use that for something else. But the egg is the important thing. And it's kid friendly. So you can't beat anything better than that. And that's what I came for. Let's see if we can look around. I don't want to run into anybody. Is there anything in particular you want to look at before I say good day? Let's see. Let's see, John, if I touch my phone too much, I'm gonna knock people off. Um, I have a, pro oh good, another wrench, John. I have a project going for hummingbirds. They, uh, let's see, the migration starts in Tennessee. Boy, has the migration started. I put that short up last night. I think I'm going through close to 10 gallons a day. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I keep putting more and more feeders out everywhere and there are so many hummingbirds now. I'm, I'm like sitting here thinking, do I keep putting more and more out? Are they going to go on their way or are they going to stay a lot of them saying, hey, why should I leave? There's plenty of food. So it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I ordered, I ordered from Walmart. There's a sugar they have that's cane sugar and periodically gets on their system for $7, $7 and change. Let's see. Um, seven dollars and change and it's pure cane sugar extra fine so i don't want to ac accidentally put too much in there when you're measuring it by the measuring cup and they throw it up there for seven dollars and change i buy a bunch and they ship it free shipping when they when it's not accidentally on their system it can go up to be 28 dollars a bag i've seen it 17 and 28 but uh what did i buy the other day i, ju I just bought 50 pounds i think but I'm good. I went and checked my inventory and I still had five 50 pound bags that I got at Sam's Club. So we have to keep the sugar going. Let me turn you around. And I, did I turn you around? Yes. So anyways, that's it. You know, I should get another cutter. So here's the problem with their trimmers, but I can tie string. You always lose the spring, it falls out. So you saw my video. What I do is I tie a piece of red yarn to it and this way when it falls out, I can find it. Let's see, there's something down here. Oh, let me show you what else they got the other day I bought. Probably a waste of money, but I bought it anyways. Ooh, the signal's pretty good. A better signal here than I have at home. We live up in the hills, even though it's just above. And I have a terrible signal. They got in colored, where are they? Here they are. No, there's some of them. All these really cute colored party cups. They've got purple, blue, and green. I'm using them for starting seeds in the house. They've got yellow, they got pink. I didn't buy pink this time. But those are the plastic ones. Yes, you can go to Walmart or Sam's Club or Costco and you can get the giant bags with like 50 of them in there, but they're just so nice. They're plastic and they're reusable. You wash them off. So that's what I bought. And, and then here's my hat. You know, I use it for the rain. I love this hat. Can you imagine for a dollar? I put a piece of elastic in it. And we're supposed to have rain again today, so I use that. We have a lot of cool stuff. I was disappointed. I came here looking for a silver ice bucket, which I bought during the holidays. And then Gary pointed out, which is true, it's seasonal. 
Nobody's putting champagne in a silver ice bucket. That's what I made the hummingbird fountain with the heart out of, so they don't have that right now. So I used a different bucket, which I think is cuter anyways for now. And that's it. So I think, uh, is there, let me see if there's anything you want to see before I sign off. Isn't that pretty? You can look at colors. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to say hello to everybody. It's just crazy. And I've got red there. I've got uh, John, John uh, Ray's birds there with the wrench. I'm sure you guys are saying hello. Oriana, hello, Fisher. <laughs> Those Easter candy containers um, have something to do with water features. Yes, I am making, I already made it. I made two fountains. I got an Easter an Easter basket bucket. You'll see it. It is so cute. And they've been coming to it, and that's what I bought these for. You know how we always are looking for a ball because the hummingbirds like a ball to sit on? This is what they're using, and it's rough. And then they're added bonus. I don't, I don't like sour candy. Gary likes it. So anyways, if I hit the wrong X, we're going to go off. So let me see real quick. Um, Melinda Roth, hello. Let's see, Carol Johnson. I like to use the white plastic spoons for labels. Yes, works great because you can write on both sides. Very good. I've been using, Gary likes sour cream or cottage cheese. And so I cut the lids up and I use that as plant tags. So that is really good. Whatever you've got, the main thing is we throw less away. It works really good. Let's see. Okay, a lot of you are talking among yourselves, which is fantastic. Uh, you'll see the fountain will be up at three. I don't even know what time it is. It's just that, let's see, we don't have a dollar store. Okay, in Hawaii, let me tell you, Kaz W, if you've got any discount store, and I'm sure you do, I don't know what you've got there where you're living, just look in the candy department and see what they've got because they bring in a lot of seasonal items and you might be able to find something that looks like an egg. You could probably easily get away with plastic Easter eggs if you wanted to, but they're slippery and you'd have to scrape them up and do something with them. It's just that this is, this is so easy to use and it, it, it just, it really worked out really, really good. You can always go to the kids department sometimes and find different things. Oh, they're duckies. Oh, look at the frogs. You can put that in your planter. Three for a dollar. They're bath toys. Do I want to put a fake frog in one of my plants? You could use a bucket like this. Some of you have asked in the past what size. It doesn't matter on the size. I almost bought one of these and I went with an Easter bucket. So you can get a kid's button, you know, beach pail and use that for a water fountain. You can use a lot of stuff. I don't see anything here so exciting. I come through here all the time. I bought a panda bear. Well, I bought a bear and I'm gonna turn it into a certain panda bear for my grandson. That's another project I have to do in the middle of the night. So let's see, my solar fountain froze. Oh my gosh, John, let's see, um, numerous times this winter, but it still works. Yeah, it's gonna freeze and stop, but when it thaws, it should. Mama bear thrives, hello, we just got a Dollar Tree in our town check it out because I'm telling you they're going to run out of the eggs. When people see this and they want to build something with it, they're going to run out. Let's go down here. I don't want to run into anybody. Let's see. Let's see what's this. There is something I want. I wanted a second animal that I bought yesterday in case I make a very bad mistake. And I don't have any more. Now, I'm, I bought this... Um, I don't know what it is. I don't have any more. I found one yesterday, and it looks like a looks like it's supposed to be a teddy bear. And I'm going to reconstruct it into a panda bear for my grandson, who's in a play. And I was really hoping. See these funny little things? That's cute. And they had one that was like a panda bear. So it wasn't a panda bear. It was just white. So I'm going to, I can almost use that. Oh! <gasps> I wonder if I can trim no then i gotta paint the whole thing i don't want to paint the whole thing i could trim the ears but that's a big hassle gosh that is so cute yeah, i do know that if you put that on a stick in the garden it's thin it will fall apart i'm making it for like he's doing a play i gotta tell you a story on that maybe not now but he's in a play at high school and they called, they needed boys to be in this play. And so he decided he wanted a certain part. 
he goes down for the part. It's so funny. They hand him the script and they said, we need you to do a reading for this. So he took the script and then they told him to get on stage. And so he goes on stage, he does the part and they're all standing there from what I understand with their mouths dropped. And they said, uh, we asked you to do a reading. And he goes, well, yeah. He said, you wanted me to do the part. And they said, yeah, but you didn't do a reading. Where's your script? He goes, oh, he said, I read it. <laughs> he did the whole part of the play with, they just handed to him. He read it and he did the whole play. Needless to say, he got the part. So he's gonna be in this play and I wanna make a rose with the teddy bear. He doesn't know. It's, it's a certain bear. It's not a teddy bear, it's a panda bear. I was so hoping that they would have one more. Okay, they don't. Well, if I make a mistake, he doesn't get it. That's it. I want one to practice on. All right, so what else? Let's see, anything else? Now I'm just chit-chatting. Please, oh, please hit the like button. Thank you, John, Melinda. Let's see. Okay, I think we should cut this off. I've been here for 15 minutes, unless there's somebody that wants to see something. Um, Pandora Fox, hello. Let's see, Christina. I know I'm gonna miss people. A member, hello. I love your live streams. Yeah, but I'm in the store with birds and you guys. Oh, thank you. Gary doesn't even know I'm live. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing, he, I asked him if he wanted to come along. He said, I've got a lot of work to do. Let's see. Um, okay, I think I got most of you. And if Debbie Hadiger, hello. I was here talking to Melinda, perfect. And uh, let's see, Trisha Arnold. It is bright, sunny, 75 degrees in central Kansas. I'm thinking gardening. I'm thinking gardening. Let's see. We're ready to garden. I haven't seen any real major seeds come up, but I will say that my walking onions were just sitting there that big. And two days ago, they took off. They were sitting in the milk cartons and they just, bam, they took off. They're already six, eight inches tall. And I told Gary this morning, we can garden because they got the signal. So I'm excited. So I started some seeds. I actually worked on seeds last night too in the middle of the night. And I did red roselle. I've got a method of doing it and I couldn't believe they all sprouted every single seed in two days and then I started some seeds for Gary and but I am gonna start some seeds because when I saw the onions take off like that I'm starting to notice little seeds coming up this gonna I, I think we're in garden season almost I think we're there and I'm gonna do my ginger and turmeric I hope oh my god walking onions took off yes they they did let's see let's see they're about four oh, okay so you're telling me your walking onions took off Mama bear thrives, oh my God, walking. Yes, I think they know the season. And as, as soon as it was the right moment, though onions don't mind the cold weather that much, I, it's, it's a signal for me to start some seeds. Let's see what's down here. So now you go through this area. Now here, if you wanted to build something for your hummingbirds, can't go, I can't make this wider. I can only, let me see if, I think I'm zoomed already, already out. Yeah, I can only zoom the other way. This, you can hang a hummingbird feeder underneath. I would put a hanger on this and you could cover this with plastic or a flag and that would shelter them from the sunlight or rain. I want something else I wanted. I think I got the flowers I wanted. I wanted one set of flowers. Plastic. We haven't seen plastic here before. And they got garden tools here too. This is probably from last year, last season. Okay. Anything, in, uh, oh, Ben Dingo's here too. Hello, Deb Brown, hello. They're, let's see, Deb, they're nine to 10 inches on the windowsill. That's a real, let's see, Ben Dingo, hi everyone, hi Robbie. Let's see, that's Ben Dingo, hit the like button. If there's anything in particular you wanna see, let's, let's take a walk. She told me, go for it. The manager's usually here and he tells me, go for it. He's not here right now. So the new manager. They're low on some stock. Nothing I really need. Oh, sauce. We wanted some hot sauce. There is something I'm going to get. Let's see. We do have somebody here. So let's face this. Oh, my gosh. Any stickers I want? No. This is where I'm coming out. Let's walk over here. There it is. I'm not sure, and I'm highly debating on this. This is a dog bowl. If I put food in here for my dogs, 
They would attack me. This is not something they want. But, hey, John, you're doing birds. What do you think about this for Orioles? Because I'm thinking I can put some nectar in there and then they can sit on top. I don't think hummingbirds or anybody will try to take a bath in it, especially if it was real shallow, because they use a pizza tray. Is there a number on this? It doesn't smell, and it's gonna be changed multiple times a day. So they have it in blue. Let's see, where are they? There they are. They have it in blue and gray. I'm thinking of trying one. And then to keep the ants away, you can just sit it in a tray of water. And some of you that love feeding the bees, you could do the same thing because see they can crawl on this and they won't drown they'll crawl in there and I don't want to feed bees they already get enough from me but if you were this is really not bad because anything that fell in here even if a lizard got in there they can crawl out through. I'll get one I'm gonna get one and I think I'll get one in blue let's see what the blue one looks like I heard that they sell these things on Amazon for like 10 bucks sorry no so let's try one you know what I'm gonna go with gray. Why am I going with gray? Because I think blue is gonna show dirt more. And the gray, that's really interesting. The gray seems heavier. Hold on. The blue seems, it is. This is my imagination. It seems, it seems a little thinner. I'm gonna go gray. I can always paint the sides. Now this you wouldn't wanna use for hummingbirds or it would just be a mess. So that's not good for birds or anything. So what else do they have? I don't buy my dog treats here or anything. I make my own. But you never know what you're going to find. So anything that you so desire to look at before I leave, there's something I wanted. I don't want leave-in. I don't want mask. I don't want conditioner. This stuff is pretty good. I've been using this. I have leave-in. I don't want leave-in. This is good shampoo, too. In its day, I looked it up and there were some places selling them for like $13. I already bought 10 bottles. Um, okay, there was one I wanted. There it is. That's the one I wanted. This one, sometimes my hair gets frizzy and I can put this in. It's not a conditioner, but it, mine has papaya, but I'm gonna get one of those. You do know you must be all born to death. Seriously, that's one thing I don't want to do is bore you. You can't see in the mirror. Can you stop and think in this day and age how fortunate we are to have a store that can have pretty much, it is really, in this store, they don't have the added amount of money on their products except for sodas and certain foods, but everything in the store is $1.25. You can't beat it. And look at all the electronic stuff. I don't need it, but I'm just showing you. And then you got the solar lights. They get the cutest solar lights in. They don't have it yet where there's a butterfly inside. And they'll probably get that pretty soon. You have to go through the Easter stuff first. These are really good for cleaning your camera and stuff. They're microfiber. Now this, I've seen a few of you buy this stuff for growing. I'm gonna tell you right now, hold it, hold it. It wasn't here. Hold it. Nope, I take it back. You can grow in it. This one's marked number five, which is made in Canada. There's no label on it. I have noticed that Dollar Tree gets a lot of their plastic products, not all, from Canada. And I've seen the same ones that are not from Canada and they don't have a number, and this is at the 99 cent store, and they smell. And when you put it on, and you, know, you smell it, you, you put it to your face. If you smell this kind of oily smell to it, don't grow in that. But that one is actually a five, so you could use, you could use for a bird bath. I don't know. My mind is thinking. I really like that. Can you imagine putting that out with rocks? Boy, do I have a new video to put out. With rocks and stuff? I came out with a video last year and I told you how to make it for the birds and it wasn't for hummingbirds. I lied. I've got a whole video of the hummingbirds going into these things on the rocks and rolling around. This is really cute. Easy to clean too. 
I clean them if they're not dirty. I clean them once a week. You could you could put a floater, floating fountain, solar fountain in here too. Just so lightweight. I'm tempted to get one. You could come back. I didn't notice that the other day. That is actually good. It'd be a really cute fountain. Zip ties. You zip ties in the garden. Can't beat the price. Let me tell you on this. I would invest if you get zip ties in the thicker, bigger ones because some of these really thin ones, when you go to pull them, they snap. So I've been staying away from the real small ones, the, the ones that are in there. I don't see if they've got any. But the thicker ones, like the black ones, even these, they you can really pull them. But on the real thin ones, sometimes, sometimes they snap. Excuse me. Kid. Sorry about that. No, no. I respect what you're doing. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm boring everybody. <laughs> no, not at all. All right, so let's see. Glue, if you need glue, hooks. This is another thing you can make a bird bath out of. Again, check the numbers or the smell. Uh, where is it made? Upside down. Oh, there is a number five on it. It is made in China, but there is a number five. Let me smell it. No smell. You could... I have made fountains out of this. I think there's an old one where I set it up and the water was trickling down and the doves were coming in and taking the bath. I don't want to buy too much because it piles in my kitchen and then I don't want to go live. Gary's like, can I move all your stuff? No, because I won't know where, where it is. Okay, so there's nothing else here we want. These are real pretty. I'm decorating. I don't need them, but I just I think they're pretty. Let's go another aisle. Does anybody want to go another aisle or should I say goodbye? I see C on the top. You know, I don't know what that means. Oh my God, Colleen? G-I-E, would that be guys? Oh my gosh, I can't, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I didn't even know what that means, $20? You just bought all my stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, I didn't expect that. So I didn't bore you, I guess. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, it's greatly appreciated. Oh my, I didn't even see it, I just saw it on the top. Thank you. Let's see, Colleen, uh, in Wisconsin for sugar. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I know, this is crazy. I even, let's, keep, let's go down another aisle with my basket. I don't know what to do. If I keep putting the sugar out, I want them to move on. I want some of them to stay, but not all. Let's walk down here. It's kind of empty today, probably because it's supposed to rain. I'm gonna tell you a secret on these hooks. The last ones I bought, as soon as I try to open them, some of them broke, like too many in some. So I'm not gonna buy the hooks right now. Back scratcher. These are a lifesaver for me. I have like, I don't know, five on hand. You can cover your plants when there's a frost. I'm not talking about freezing snow or anything. I have saved so many plants with this. Not only that, but I put it on in the winter and it's lasted months and I don't throw them away. I just take it off and fold it up. And they're big. I mean, look how big they are. They're uh, 70 inches by 72. And so it's just easy. Yes, you can go to the Walmart and buy a big roll, but those work out so good. I just grab and just go for it. They used to carry tablecloths, but they don't carry the clear tablecloths anymore. Let's see. Eh, no shampoo and stuff down here. Medication we don't need. I don't see anything here, but you never know. When I'm not with you, you know what I do? I go up and down every single aisle. Oh, more pillowcases. Do I need a pillowcase? Anything really cute? Probably you're gonna get what you pay for. I didn't see that the other day. I hear nothing with animals or birds or... Let's see what's the black and white one. No, I bought one once I think it had daisies on it. No? Okay, let's see. Okay, nobody's down here. Another aisle that I like, but they only have right now pink and that turquoise. I wanted some other colors because I guess you saw in the video, a lot of them fell over and they broke. There's no saving them. In the bad storm, we had a gust of wind, but they don't have a lot. What they do have is this. Oh, you haven't seen the video. <laughs> so the other night, you'll see the video this week. I came up with an idea because Gary wanted me to put some feeders out that the doves can't get into. I put the short up 
and it worked. It worked fantastic. I'm wondering if I want any more. The manager told me the other day when I was here that these colors, these baskets, there's a blue one there. Once they're gone, they won't have any more. They're brought in for spring. So they're doing a lot of seasonal stuff now. So he said, if you like it, I, so I had to go back and buy two. I don't know if I want another one. I actually like the blue. It looks so pretty. Wait, this is kind of a powdery blue, almost looks green. But when you compare it, you can see the difference between the blue and the green. It's working. It is working fantastic. I found out even the house finches can get through that, but the doves can't. And it's, I'm just waiting to get some good pictures of the spice finches. I haven't been able to find the time to sit in the garden. Those are another favorite of mine, these baskets. And I have a video that I started to put together that I stopped, I don't know why. And those are fantastic. I've got really super ideas with that and it's gonna work for a lot of you too. And it's not just using it to cover plants. Clothespins, you can always label your plants with clothespins, write marker on it, and just clip on to containers with that if you want to. Is it 54 for $1.25? The plastic ones seem to last one to two years. The wooden ones will last until they rot away and you lose it. They seem to last longer. No, but the baby stuff. You never know what you're gonna find in baby stuff. You know, I was looking for a brush for Zoe. She doesn't like being brushed. Sometimes you can find something that you want to make a bird fountain out of. I mean, you can make a bird fountain out of this. And you know if a baby can drink out of it, the birds can use it. There's that. That's kind of the panda bear that my grandson liked. That's an owl or something. But it has that look that I have to kind of draw up. No socks and stuff. More candy, but I looked here. No candy that I can use for a fountain. Let's not get tempted. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oriana Fisher, thanks for taking us along, Robbie. Love and kisses, so inspiring. Orient. Oriana, I remember you gave me a super chat once that was, I almost hit the floor. Oh my gosh, thank you for the $20. This is not expected, this is not why I did it. I did it because there's not that many people in here and they gave me permission, though if the corporate office asks, I'll tell them I did it without permission. But I said, go for it. So, super, thank you. I mean, this is actually embarrassing for me, thank you. And it does go for sugar, it all does. Thank you so much. If I hit the wrong button, we'll go off. I'm just amazed at the stuff you can get here. I mean, I could just rattle off all the stuff that you could do with this, which would have to do with farming and growing. And I bought one of these just to put stuff in in the bathroom, load up so you can grab all your little bottles out in one, one shot. Uh, there's just so many things. If you had something really simple, you were growing in the ground, you need to protect your seedlings from birds. Depends on the birds. There's just so many things you could do. I, Hope they get some more trash cans in with brighter colors. Oh, look, for magazines. That's, that's actually nice. I have no use for it. There's the trash cans, very, very similar to the ones I get from Walmart for 97 cents. This is really good for growing lettuce in. Because lettuce likes to send the root down. It works really good. Some of them, like this one's kind of thin, and you would think, wow, it's big. Here's the problem. If you load this up with soil, see how, I've only got one hand, see how flexible it is? The soil will create pressure and push, especially in this style, because it's narrower on the bottom, and then it could split. As the sun beats on it, because of the pressure and the, um, there'll be more weight on the top, that's when you'll have problems. But if you're going for color, it'll probably last a year without a problem. I just look for something that's a little thicker. I mean, these, these are a little bit thicker. And again, the pressure, the weight will be going straight down. Let me back you up a little bit. See how it will go straight? So you kind of think about that. Let's put this side by side. There, it will go straight down and create pressure straight down. This one will create more pressure trying to get down to the bottom, but being that it's a V-shape, they'll split faster. So I would go with that for planting, though, though this is really cute. This one's even thinner. 
Okay, so let's see what else they have. This is the only thing that here at this store besides sodas that they have more than $1.25. They've got a $5 section, $4 section, $3 section, and then most of this, all this, I don't buy food here. I don't buy a lot of stuff like this, but you know, then $1.25, oh, they got, look at that. Okay, and this is $3, so they have all kinds of food. I do see people come in here and buy a lot of food. I mean, it's cheap, especially if it's just two people or, and all the frozen vegetables. They've got okra, it's all $1.25. Boy, has food gone up, but you probably know that. I like to buy olives. That's more than doubled in price. So that's what's going on here. Let's go look at some other food and then, and then I'll wrap this up. Like I said, what, 20 minutes ago. You don't want to see food. Do you want to see food? Nobody wants to see food. The only thing I would grab here, look, trays to make a fountain. And do not kid yourself, I have. But you know what I use these for now? You know that, feeding birds. I bought some that were red. These are fantastic. You can put this out to feed the birds, make holes in them. So when you load it up with seed, the water runs through it if it's raining. They'll eat the seed if it's wet. That is not a problem. That's natural to them. They won't eat the seed if it's underwater. See, they had a handmade, let's see, red base. Um, they had handmade big, oh, it's rolled by egg rolls for $1.25, but now everyone seems to know about it. So they're, they're always gone. The food is so expensive there. Oh, so, yeah, so expensive. Um, I was so tempted until I found out it was fake sugar. I'd rather have real sugar. I can't deal with fake sugar. Um, you know, see, sodas and stuff they have. Tea, I make my own tea. And you know, it's whatever suits your fancy, really. You never know what you're gonna find here. Sometimes you find things that they don't normally have and if you find something you really like and they don't normally have it buy them all <laughs> i love this i love this i also like making my own but i love this okay we're leaving it because it's very bad for you hold on we've got somebody here so let's turn around and go this way i know i'm spinning you all around sorry okay let's get out of this aisle now you're all dizzy. Um, this is really cool. Contact paper. I have done a lot of stuff with this. They have really nice contact paper and I make, make these boards so I can photograph. I've done that for years. You got wood grain, you've got different uh, designs like flowers and stuff. I'm trying to get out. Now it's getting busy, so I may have to go. This is a new one. Oh no, these are liners. got that contact paper and then here when spring comes and you get ready to start doing fountains I almost bought this yesterday this is so cute same concept there's a couple different ways we can do this actually there's a, probably a half a dozen ways we could do this but this is really good to make a fountain out of they got new pictures in I don't know if I want to bury those but they got new pictures and I saw that when I came the other day I don't know where you can go to get this stuff this cheap. A lot of different glassware. You can grow in glass. If you use tool, you can push the tool. It can't be anything narrow. But if it was straight, like something like this, you put tool in there and you load it up with your potting soil. You can plant your seeds on there. They'll look really pretty and then you lift it up. And I do do that and it looks really nice. Okay, I still have somebody here, so I don't want to invade their privacy. Okay, Gary wanted me to get something, so let me see. Easter! Okay, good. I can turn around. And then they've got all kinds of canned goods. Sardines, tuna. I do know that some of the dollar stores, uh, Dollar Trees are a little bit different. So if you've got more than one, you want to check them out. Tortillas. 
20 for a dollar, 20 pot. Oh, these are good. I don't need any, but those are good. Name brand too, okay. I'll tell you, that's what I was saying. I came here and they had pizza sauce. They had a name brand and they had it in a bottle and I bought like five bottles. When I came back, they didn't have it again. Certain name brands, they don't get back again. And then Gary wanted a certain, no. Let's see who makes this. Who does make this? It's probably right in front of me in Brazil. I wonder if Brazil's okay. You know what I don't like? Hold it. Is there an expiration date? The bottles are concave, like they're sucking in. Not a good sign. Sometimes it's not a good sign. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that they're sucked in. Chili sauce, hot. Goya, that's a name brand. Gary likes this one. But there's another one that's a hot sauce. And it's probably right in front of me and I don't see it. No, I don't see it. Nope, I don't see it. They do have the olives still. And I'm thinking of getting a few olives because a, a can of olives, let's see how many are, are in here, three ounces. A can of olives is now like $2.50, and this is $1.25, and I don't a lot of times need a can. So I open it up and we eat them up, but I'd rather just have half the olives, and I can't remember if they're 10 ounces or what. I might grab a couple, I'm not sure. Mushrooms, vinegar, vinegar's always cheap. You can get that anywhere. No more pizza sauce, I knew they didn't have that anymore. Not the one I was getting. They had a different brand, Contadina. And they don't have that anymore. No, so that's what's going on here. Let's see. Spices. I'm really careful on my spices now. I buy real cinnamon, not the fake cinnamon. I also buy and only use whole black pepper. I learned that from chefs. You don't know what's in ground pepper. Sometimes I've heard they sweep the floor, so you don't know what's in it. So I get whole pepper. I don't buy ground, just whole pepper, because you don't know what's in there. And it's not anybody's fault but the company. So you have no idea what they're putting in there. It could be stems and leaves, and you don't know what. So I get whole pepper. It's, it actually tastes better. But, you know, if there's something I really want, I don't see anything. And then they got ketchup. Hold it. It's telling me I'm gonna see something. I can't see it. If I've missed any super chats, I am sorry because I'm seeing something and it won't let me roll back. I, it's hard to see as I'm walking around and they roll back and then I can't, it doesn't let me. So if I missed you, I am sorry. Let me see if how far I can go because it's. Let's see. Uh, I hope you're all talking among yourselves. Let's see, Jamie, I, Elston, Elston. Stein, Elstein. Some cleaner than others. Uh, if I missed a, another super chat, I'm sorry. So I think I didn't, but if I did, I'm sorry. Let's see what's here. Coconut, that's not bad. You can't really go wrong if you need coconut. I would never buy this, again, personal preference. This is not real. This doesn't taste real. If you know what vanilla tastes like, this isn't real. I always invest and get real vanilla when I want vanilla. And then even some of their olive oils. Oh, now they're saying blend. A lot of stores got in trouble because it said pure olive oil. That was a big thing on the news a while back. It was saying pure olive oil. Oh, this is sun, uh, sunflower oil. And what they weren't telling you is there were other things in there. There was pure olive oil in there, but what was there? That much? <laughs> and so they just didn't tell you. So. You have to be careful buying olive oil too. Little thing of pecans. Oh, I love kisses. Okay. Um, food coloring they got. Oh, for dying Easter eggs. Remember, we don't use dye for hummingbirds. The dye that you put in there is strictly for you. It's not for them. They know it. They see it. They know what the feeders look like. All right, so there's nobody here. I can turn around. And we could do one more aisle. Let's see. 
Nobody's here. You know what? Let me grab my basket. I don't even have juice. I don't buy juice. We have thousands of oranges. I told my neighbor the other day, take. We have a big family. And he said, really? Yes. They were all excited. Take, take. I know I didn't do all the... I didn't do all the aisles. I'm, I can't do that. Oh, look at that parchment paper. That's interesting. I buy it by the roll, but that's that's really good. I haven't used parchment paper until lately, and I kind of got used to using it for certain things. So let's look here. You do know you can plant in these. You can make bird baths out of them. This comes in two pieces. This would make a really cool bird bath. Can you visualize it? I have a feeling I bought one and it's still sitting. That is a cool bird bath. I should make one. It's just I have too many and then I have to take some of them apart and sit them somewhere. And then you've got all the kitchenware. I do realize I told you I'd be on for 10 minutes and it's been 45 minutes. And then they've got the dish pans to grow in. This, you, can, you could even grow in something like this. And this is sturdy. This is gonna last a long time. They've got their dish pans. Dollar twenty-five. Not as big as the ones I use, but I do use those too. This is what you saw. I made a video. I'm using this to hold solar panels up now. This is so easy to zip tie or wire up anywhere, and then the solar panel sits on top. So I've been using that because that's not going to break down. That's metal. You never know what you're going to see here. That's what's so cool. Oh, look at that. Now see if you didn't want to use a picture. See that? Those are bigger than the pictures. And you could do the same thing. Now the lid screws on. So it's harder to get the lid on and off. That's why I like pictures that lift. But if you wanted to not, if you didn't have any critters getting in there, you could use that, sink that into a tote, and that would work just as good. That's it. I think we've done the whole store. So, like I said, it's getting busy. This is cute. What is that? Oh, it's a plastic container. I was just looking at the decor. See, they only have a few left. I have no use for that, but let me tell you something. That is really cute. That can be a bird bath as well. That is really cute. Okay, no, I've got enough. I've already bought what I wanted to today. You're gonna see at three o'clock, the new bird bath. It is from here. The bucket came from here too. I didn't show you the buckets, but the buckets came from here too. And that's basically it. So nothing else you want to look at? Tablecloths. Let's see if anybody had a request to see something. I don't think so. Robbie, you had a viewer ask about the, oh, the craft department. Thank you, Red Base. Like I said, I can't read all this. It's rolling. Um, let's see. You're, you're absolutely right. I, mean, I don't want to invade anybody's privacy. No. I did not go down the craft department. And that is a department I go down because I grab yarn sometimes. I think it is this one. Nope. Is it this one or the other one? I don't remember. Uh, no, it's the next one. I got this. Here, we'll zip up and down. These are peel and sticks. Years and years ago, they came up with this, and I did an entire, it was a little bathroom with peel and stick, and it was big knees. I think there's another department on the other side. We'll walk down. Frames. Let's see, what do they have here? Candle stuff. I mean, you can walk through here and use your imagination for all kinds of stuff. Yeah, this is all scented candles. Let's keep going. Cardboard, here, different stuff here. Let's see, so what do I get here usually? This side, I don't get anything. Sometimes I buy pens. Okay, but this side, I do get. Again, paper stuff for kids. I don't get stickers here. Further down I do, because sometimes they have really cute stickers. This is why I was saying, I go through the scissors, and if they're stainless steel, I have seen better ones than this. 
You can use this in the garden. This is fabulous in the garden. Get a red handle. And when you leave it somewhere in the garden, you don't know where it is, you'll see the red. Get a black handle and you'll be coming back to get another one because you won't see it in the garden. What is this? Ring hooks. Oh, from pegboards. Okay, for a pegboard. You know what they don't have? Those, they were wire racks I bought and they made some bird feeders outside. They don't have that. Now this is great. Binders, instead of, like if you're putting tool up, well they changed the box, which is, makes more sense. This is a cheaper way of packing it and better. These are fantastic for putting tool on totes, containers, anywhere. If you're just wrapping a plant that's in the ground and you're gonna throw tool over it, this you can put on. I don't have any other colors. It's better when you get colors, you can see them again, you'll lose these, but these are cheap and they don't go bad. I've got them years old. They may get a little rusty, but they don't go bad. So that's a good price because that's basically forever. See if you can find ones with color, because sometimes they have ones that are all different colors. But either way, it doesn't matter. Those are good. Yeah, they don't have as much, maybe because they bring them more stuff when school starts. We'll go down the other aisle. We have craft stuff there too. Hmm. You could almost use that like a filter system if you had something running and there were leaves. You could have water running through that. It's just my mind is thinking if I had a big fountain and the water could filter through and catch all the leaves. You can always build something cheap too. These are all markers. Let's go see the next aisle. This is more for kids. Oh, how pretty. Stained glass designs. Oh, this is big. Wow. Hold on. Okay, no tables. Hold on. Let's try not to break anything. Could you imagine starting plants in this if you're a small time grower and you can start your plants and leave them in there until you're ready to plant? Is that not cute? How much would it cost to get a setup of six pots and here you've got it in one. And then when you're done with it for the season, look, you just stack them up and they're, you have them for next season. I've never seen this. That is just too cute. I'm gonna have to think about that. So let's put this back up and not make a mess out of their store. I have not seen that before, but that, those are really good for planting in. Uh, Mona, Mona, I love the way your mind works. Well, look at that. They're big enough that if I put seeds in there now, it depends on your setup. You know, I'm using right now plastic cups because they're individuals. You can put plastic cups in there and then move them out. You can carry your plastic cups outside in there. They're $1.25. But I just like the idea it's got a handle. So if I grabbed, I'm almost tempted to get one. Again, then I gotta find a place to sit it on your kitchen table. Do you wanna go live? No, because it looks like a mess. I'm, I'm just jazzed over this. This is like the cutest thing. You think about it. I've seen some of these garden people selling six packs and they're selling them for a lot of money. They're plastic and they're nowhere near as nice as this. And this is really cool. Put some drain holes in there on the bottom with a soldering iron, one, two, three, or a hot you know, nail. And you've got yourself a fantastic planner. Because the average person isn't gonna grow a hundred peppers. You guys are gonna grow a few. And this, I really like this. I'll think about it. I may end up coming back for red. <laughs> wow, and then they got trays. I mean trays, we can use our food trays. But I really like that, I didn't see that before. Sometimes I have a habit, which is not good not to look up. Gary says, did you see it on the top shelf? No, I forgot to look up. Let's look up really quick. Metal racks. Okay, let's go down the other aisle. Oh, that's all candle stuff. Okay, even on the top. I really like that. Wow, my pole is bent on this. Okay, let's go this way. Yarn. Whoa. Garden season is here. They ran out. Um, remember yarn when you're tying up tomato plants and stuff? Anything, this is the greatest stuff. 
And this is what I've been using for year, years and years. They sometimes have green. They have this one. This one's more rope-like. Macrame. So it's a cord. This is really nice. I have so much. If I didn't have so much, I would go ahead and think about something like this. So this is where I come sometimes to get stickers for the pots that I have sitting in my kitchen window. And I can put them on. They had another one. I don't see it. Another type of sticker rack. And so you can design your food containers, paint them yellow, and then pick out the stickers you want and just glaze over them with Mod Podge. And they're still going strong for over a year. There's another pan of there. Oh my gosh, that's a sticker. Well, if all else fails on my project, I know I can come back here. Okay, I've got a lot of people down here and I don't want to interfere with anybody. So here is something I actually wanted. Okay, I forgot about that. Is this for plastic paint? I don't, washable. Oh, you don't want washable. If you buy washable paint, that's exactly what it is. So if you paint like, let's say you're gonna paint the Easter egg, you won't be there. You don't want washable. Though I have remedies of, that's a rule that did not come out right. I have ways of fixing that where it will work. This is what I actually wanted. I realized I didn't have blue. This is fabric paint. When that dries, it's permanent. And I do use that on some of my fountains. And it's supposed to be non-toxic. I looked it up, said it wasn't. And I'm gonna get a blue one because I already bought a black one the other day. It's a good price, but this is, I will tell you, Walmart sells them also for a dollar. I've got yellow, green, red, so it's not that big of a deal, but I just don't have blue. And I'm thinking of decorating another egg. So here we've got more paint. Um, if any of you watched my live feed, I showed a product that you can get at Joann's. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of it offhand. It comes in a white bottle and it's got a purple label that stuff is like lacquer like epoxy but it's not it's just it's so strong that if you took this paint and you mixed a little bit in with it it becomes absolutely permanent rosa santos hello it would become completely permanent any of these and i've done it if you use it like that it will wear off quickly but you can change a lot of the paint you can even change washable so let's look here. This is party stuff. Though I have bought some stuff here before. This, this you can make a fountain out of and I have not done it yet. Last year I looked at it and I thought this is cute. I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do. They used to have balloon straws and you can sometimes use them for fountains and they don't have them right now. Is this plastic just curious or cardboard? It's kind of an in-between. No, it's kind of a plastic. See how it's curling? I was thinking if I made a sign, it would just keep curling though. Little bottles, bubble bottles. They have bubble in them. They blow bubbles. All right, so this is Gee, they did get rid of it. There was another place I think they had stickers that I get. Okay, but paint, like I said, if it says washable, don't use it on your water products because it's gonna wash off. Please. So I think I've got everything I need. I'm not buying a whole lot. I bought seeds the other day. They were really low on seeds. They did get this. Here's the problem with this. These are not, again, they're not waterproof. So you can put them on and they're not like outdoors. Oh, don't get the outdoors. That's not waterproof either. Get the one for dishwasher safe if you want to use it outside on any of your pots or anything. But these are so good. You can always use this first and then do dishwasher safe on top. I've done that too. Hmm. Sandpaper. Well, there you go. So anything you get that you want to paint that's too shiny, you can just sand it really good with sandpaper. Believe you me, Gary's got a garage full, so I don't need any of that. Look at that art, artist boards, stretch canvases. That's really cool. All right, so did you see enough of the craft? Here's another thing that's unique. I like looking through. 
Let's see, these I think are iron-ons, right? Yeah, I looked at that. I'm, I should iron them on in my shirt. No. Um, the fabric they get in. Sometimes if you need a little bit of fabric for something, they get such unique things, different colors. They have dragonflies. I have not seen hummingbirds. They have little, like, garden mushrooms or toads. Um, what do you call this? Oh, my gosh. I can't think what it's called. Toadstools. Um... I'm not sure what this one. Oh, these are little gnomes. Upside down. Little gnomes. They get really cute things in here that you may need a piece of fabric for something. I need fabric for something. And you'll see the video coming out soon, but not this fabric. And then they have another box you could go through and another box you can go through all the way down there. Why don't they have, have hummingbirds? They always have butterflies. Look at this, even an apron. I make my own. Oh, this I did buy the other day. I'm using this for a project that I'm gonna do a video on. I think I had some, but I thought instead of looking for it, probably sitting in a very safe place, I'll just get another package. So I got that the other day. And then this has gotta be lightweight. <laughs> but that's still nice, this little apron. I'm just wondering what happened to their stickers. We've done the party stuff. One already ran away. You're already stressing. No, they don't have any more. All right. So I think I have talked your ear off. Probably lost a thousand subscribers. <laughs> and I just thought I'd take you with me for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I'm actually embarrassed I'm turning red. I told you I was going to be on for 10 minutes. Um, I would show you the Easter baskets, but there's a lot of people down there right now. Check the video out at 3 o'clock. It's probably 3 o'clock already. I don't know. And you do know I can't read all this. Uh, sunset gazing, hello. Oh, John, thank you for bringing us. Are you sure? You don't think I bored you to death? Well, you know what? If I bored you, it's an easy fix. <laughs> you just click off and go, nope, not interested in this. And I am really excited about the bird fountain. It's kind of cutesy, but to me it's cute. Karen uh, Bush, hello. Uh, when do you start seeds? I'm starting some seeds right now. Uh, just a few, just a few. I, I'm working on those tomatoes, the travelers. I got, I planted five seeds, but I got two to germinate, which is better than last year. I only got one. I planted seven, I think seven red roselle seeds. I made a little greenhouse for the house. I'm hoping to get that together this week because it's working so good. Gary gave me some seeds to start and it's just a little unit in the house. I planted seven red roselle and all seven are rooted. Now I gotta plant them. I should go get those cup things I saw back there. Um, what else did I start? I started a Cosmo flower. I started some bachelor buttons. I know a lot of flowers. I really don't, didn't do any vegetables yet because I don't want them to get leggy. I did start broccoli. I'm gonna get those in individual cups. You do know, you're, you're, I hope you're, you're answering for me because I can go through all this. Uh, red rose. Um, oh, love these shopping videos. I don't need to take you to see the baskets. You know they have a lot of Easter baskets. I don't want to bother anybody. But I, I appreciate everybody shopping with me. I'm going to go pay for the few things I've got. I'm looking to see if there's anybody. I mean, if I know I miss tons of you. I want to thank my monitor, monitors. Monitor, monitors are my wrenches. And let's see. D. Watson. Um, oh, John said hello to D. Watson. Thank you. It was fun being carted around. Are you sure sunset gazing? Because I really think I bored you to death. Not boring. Krista says, yeah, sure. I'd see Melinda Roth, Robbie, gluten-free flour. Um, I have not seen gluten-free flour here, though I have, I have found it before at the 99 cent store. And I walked in and found it a couple times, but I haven't seen it here. That's not to say they don't get it in because they can get special deals in. But if you have a Dollar Tree, it's worth, it's worth taking a walk through and, and look through and look through every aisle. All right, I know I'm going to miss a lot of stuff. I want to thank my moderators. I want to thank you guys for the super chats. Thank you so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. I want to go home and make sure my video is supposed to go up at 3 o'clock. And I hope you enjoy it because I did. Bye, everybody, and thank you. Bye-bye.